And guys, did I have the most exciting day, period. I mean, I got to go to the, the water slide, walk the dogs, run up a hill, lift, play basketball. Uh, I even won the lottery. If you haven't noticed, I'm being sarcastic. That's literally all I did today. Let's just get into the questions. Q&A, part two. Yeah. Hey, man, I wanted to just thank you guys, family. Appreciate y'all for all your support. 3,843 subscribers. We are growing slowly. So, I mean, consistency is key. Sharing the videos, liking the videos shows me that you guys enjoy the content, commenting, all that. I read every comment, trust me. I've seen your comments, so don't even trip. Uh, for the most part, I do respond to all of them. If I don't respond, it's usually because I'm just busy or it's kind of self-explanatory. I don't know. Sometimes I just don't respond. But most of the comments have been more focused on the Q&A anyway, so there's no reason for me to respond. Uh, one of the main questions that it seems like I get constantly and consistently is where do you work? What are you doing? How do you make money? Yada, yada, yada. So... First off, I own sneakerlife.com. If you did not know, boom. Revenue right there. YouTube, boom. Revenue right there. Sponsorships, boom. Revenue. You know, I'm I'm an entrepreneur. Solely based on the internet. Buy, sell, trade is life. I will buy shoes. I will flip them. That's life. I'll keep some shoes in the throughout the whole process. You know, it started as fun, turned into a business. That's just how it goes on to the next thing. I got a TV show coming, hopefully, and other things, but that is how I make money. You're welcome. I'm in college. Also, I'm a student, college athlete, basketball. I don't really have time for a job, going to foot locker. It's just not worth my time, okay? So that's just from my perspective. $9 an hour, shoot, $15 an hour is not worth my time, and it's always going to be that way. Uh, that's just my mindset. Don't hate on it. We're all different to each his own, so just appreciate it. Boom, respect it. Are you more into athletic clothing or designer stuff like Ralph Lauren? Also, do you th what do you think is better when it comes to basketball shoes, Adidas or Nike? As for what I'm into, I definitely love athletic clothing, but I'm starting to get more into the fashion thing because I mean, I got all these shoes, you just, they just gotta match up, you know? Uh, during school when I'm tired, you know, I got practice and yada, yada, yada. I will wear shorts and a t-shirt every day, a sweatshirt, just to chill because I'm not dressing to impress anyone. I could care less unless it's some business, you know? As far as it goes for basketball shoes, I'm gonna have to go with Nike. I, I had Adidas throughout high school, I think my sophomore and junior year, the Adidas Crazy 8s. I'm not sure if it was the Crazy 8s, but it was the Adidas Crazy Light, whatever. I had those great shoes. I went through like four pairs because they all ripped so it was a good shoe but in the long run poop i mean the best shoes basketball shoes wise that i've had period are the kobe nines i literally have every color except the masterpiece which i need and i mean those last me through a college season that's amazing no rips no damages they're great so i suggest those how do you feel about sneaker releases in 2016 you know that's a while away I'm not really too hyped on it. I'm kind of just focused on what's coming. The biggest release for me is the Air Mags. I really want those. And I know me and my boy, Pound Cake, AKA Alex, you already know we are gonna find a way to get them. I'm starting high school. Any tips? You know, high school, what, what can I tell you about high school? Make sure to be you. You know, uh, don't pretend to be something you're not. Why fit in when you can stand out? Let's let's go into a story time throughout high school. My whole entire high school career, I was highly respected based on the fact that I've never done drugs, I never drank. I was, you know, I'm not toot my own horn or anything, but I was the person that everyone was looking up to. The little kids were watching me. I had little kids after my basketball games coming up to me, oh, I'm your biggest fan, you know, just people looked up to me. Try to be that person, set goals for yourself, get good grades, do the best you can be, don't be a bum. High school is extremely important, get good grades. Have fun, have fun. I mean, you can go party, you can do all that stuff. You're young right now, but I mean, when you get into your junior, senior year, everybody wants to hang out, yada, yada, yada. Hey man, go have fun. But you don't gotta fall into peer pressure, okay? It's all in the mind, it's weak. I mean, people just hit me up all the time. Hey Mike, you wanna you want, you want hit this blunt? Nah, man. 
hey man, you want some of this drink? Nah, man. You know what they told me? That's cool. That's cool of you. It's that simple. Do you think you'll ever stop collecting? With this question, you know, once a family comes into play, most people get rid of their collection. I'm hoping to have the revenue to continue my lifestyle. You know, sneakers is a hobby somewhat, but it's definitely a lifestyle. And I think just with shoes in general, I will consistently keep collecting as long as there's stuff that catches my eye. You know, you always get bored of brands. You know, like right now, Jordan brand is eh. Eh, I'm extending the Adidas, Asics, New Balance, a bunch of other things, so yeah. Do you get paid from YouTube? Yes, I do. Have you ever tried playing a different sport? Of course. I mean, when I was younger, I played baseball. I would sit out in the field with my glove and pick up sand and watch the sand fall through. Uh, <laughs> just wasn't for me. It was fun, it was fun, definitely. I played football in high school. I was a really good wide receiver. Uh, I almost broke my left hand. Uh, I got tackled and was stupid and went down like this. Almost broke my hand. It was kind of messed up for a while. And I was just really focused on basketball. You know, I played competitive AAU basketball. It was just the dream. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't really know where I wanted to go with it. We all have those NBA dreams. My dreams kind of shattered when I got a concussion and ever since it's just been uh ooh, talking too much ever since it's just been the love of the game you know what's life without basketball it's just like i said it's one of those things that you do because it just keeps you going you know it's something to wake up and look forward to when did you and your girlfriend start dating and what would you say to a sneakerhead trying to cop shoes but doesn't know anything about raffles so me and jordan started dating we've almost been together for two years it's been great no problems really amazing surprise she's cool y'all know as far as sneakers go and copying in this day and age everyone is chasing the money that's just how it is i mean if you're not into that whole thing then you should go collect some coins or something because it's just it's a mess it's really a mess you got to find your plugs you got to find connects you got to buy bots it's just a race it's a huge rat race for money and you know some of us want to wear the sneakers some of us want to sell some of us want to buy two pairs sell one pair for profit just so we can afford the pair that we got for ourselves so that's kind of how it starts for everyone as for raffles raffles are pretty simple it's usually tuesday and wednesday when you go to the store and you do the ticket pr procedure and they backdoor a lot of pairs and cheat the raffles anyway it's a really ridiculous thing i'd highly suggest getting a bot but i'm guessing you're young and the money isn't there so uh it's kind of the luck of the draw man i like really ask your mom to drive you to foot locker foot action on that Tuesday, Wednesday, or give them a call and say, hey, when are you guys doing the raffle tickets for this? Basically how the raffle works, you go there, sign your name on a ticket, they put it in the box on like Thursday, Friday, they end up picking the names, they give you a call, let you know if you won. If you didn't answer, then they go on to the next person, but if you're lucky, they still leave you a voicemail. You go pick them up and it's just like that. It's really simple. It's just, it kind of sucks that it's come to this. You know, it used to be the shoes would sit on shelves for months and you could just go in and get them. But really at this point of the game, uh, Jordan Brand has been releasing shoes for like 220, 225 plus. The price is so high that most people can't afford it anymore, so these shoes just sit. So really, you can just go into Foot Locker and pick your shoes up. It's really that simple. Or if you missed a release, wait until 6 p.m. that night, and that's when if the person didn't come in and get their shoes, which literally 80% like of the people do based on the sneaker, then you go pick it up and it's that simple. This is not a question, but it's more of a response. Dude said, uh, I'm not going to style on you. Chipotle don't be filling me up, right? I still be hungry. And what do you use to, oh, I guess that is a question. What do you use to uh, edit your videos? I use Final Cut Pro X. Great program. I do have Mac. I just got my new MacBook. Should be here on Monday. I'm super excited. But yeah, I use Final Cut Pro. Great program there's a lot of different programs but I've always been Final Cut because it's just quick fast and easy and simple as for the Chipotle or Qdoba not filling you up what I do every time there's never been a time I haven't I get double chicken double steak both beans both black and pinto uh, I get double rice then I get lettuce cheese avocado 
and the hottest sauce available, I guarantee you will be full. What state or country do you live in? I'm in the United States. I'm from Colorado. Most people know that. I'm just telling you now, you better not come try to kill me. I got a Beretta, bang, bang. Everyone asked me where I got my electric scooter from. My scooter was sent to me as a gift. It was free, so that's all I can really tell you. A lot of people are like, hey, what's the brand on it? Where did you get it? How much did it cost? I don't know. It was a gift. I'm sure people are probably going to ask me where I got this hat. This is from KYC Vintage. Boom. Wearing this because your boy is looking like Don King after a long day of slaving away. <laughs> Manual labor is not for me. That's all I got to say. I'm cool with being focused on the internet, being a creator online. Uh, it's really what I want to do with my life. So looking forward to that. Hope you guys enjoyed another q and I'm sorry I couldn't blog very much, but I literally did nothing. Like this from literally like 8, 8.30 this morning till 10 at night, I was doing all that. Cleaning the carpets. Just, oh, oh, I forgot one more question. One more question. What motivated you to start making YouTube videos? And what classes are you taking this try? I love the videos. Thank you. Francesca, appreciate it. So what motivated me to start YouTube videos was, you know, that's a good question. I think, you know, everyone has a purpose in life, okay? And I just felt like mine was to be not necessarily famous, but to inspire. You know, the way my mind works is extremely different than other people i mean i'm wise beyond my years again this isn't like tooting my own horn again i just know what i want in life and i'm chasing after it and if people want to join that journey i want to have it documented you know i started youtube in 2009 my old channel was like lychee mjm and it was just a bunch of different stuff you know i never was able to like perfect my craft and now I'm finally getting into that I'm finally knowing what my purpose is what I'm here to do what I want to do what do I want out of life and I think YouTube gives me that ability you know I grew up by myself primarily you know I don't have any I do have like half brothers and sisters but it was I'm an only child so this was the only way that I could be creative and you know, throughout my whole YouTube career, people laughed and ha ha, he's on YouTube, he'll never do anything. I was the kid that everybody thought was gonna go to the NBA. Didn't happen. And you know, life's about doing what you love. And I love this. So I hope that answers your question. As far as classes this try, finally getting into my concentration of entrepreneurship, which I'm really excited because hopefully you know most of the professors, but Hefley is one of my favorite. Have him um, taking a lot of marketing, statistics, and international marketing. Just a lot of those business classes. I'm really excited to dive into those and actually try this term. You know, a lot of my teachers consistently say, "You don't try hard enough." It's because, all in all honesty, I don't like school. I absolutely despise school. It makes me sick. I think it's a huge waste of time. Why is society making me pay to further my education to better myself? I think that's ridiculous. But you know what? Society says we have to do it, so let's just do it and get, get it over with. It's that simple. Uh, sorry, I went on a little rant there. I think I'm going to do a vlog specifically based on school. School is extremely important. You need it. But that doesn't mean everyone likes it. You know, you're supposed to eat healthy fruits and vegetables doesn't mean I like freaking Brussels sprouts, you know, like I don't like those. So anyway, family, again, it's nice seeing you guys. Nice talking to you guys. Love these Q and A videos. I really appreciate all the questions. We're growing. We are growing. The family is getting bigger and bigger. Y'all my brothers. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Hey, hey, we should, that's who we should be. Family and the brothers. How, what do y'all think about that? I, I like to have different names. Usually I'm pretty creative when it comes to nicknames, but with y'all, y'all are a 
dope group of individuals. So we got to come up with a name. Family is dope. But sometimes I feel a little childish, like family. But anyway, hey guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I know tomorrow's gonna be another freaking manual labor day, but I really need to get to work. When I say I need to get to work, it's on the website, on my videos. It's just a lot of stuff. It's hectic. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all already know this is your boy Mike. Thank you for joining my life. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, 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 uh. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah.